welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you these new Macart nail liners. So you know, um, you get the the tall pots of gel polish, and inside, instead of having a normal brush, they've got like the liners already attached to the lids. That's basically what these are. I'll show you. I'll show you inside. Look, here we go. So this is gonna look. You got that really nice, slim end so you can like i'm gonna do some nail art with them today but um i saw on their they done a mccart live on instagram and the lady that was doing the live she done her free edge with them so yeah you can they're quite i think they're handy handy andy Ari. <laughs> so i'm using their i think this one was called success this is the mccart awesome colors and this is a white, so I want a white background for these nails. I'm just going to do, because it's like Halloween season, I'm doing, I'm just going to do something Halloween-y. So I'm going to put one coat of this colour on, pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to go over, like I'm doing now, with a second coat. So that's like, we're going to zoom past that. And then I'm only going to use three of the colours. Uh, I'm going to use the orange, the green, and the purple, because they're, they're the most Halloween-y colours, I think. The trouble is I've already done a sort of Halloween set with a neon Halloween -y set. Um, you also though, um, you do get, they do have like glittery liners. So what I'll do is I'll leave the links to these neon liners and the other set of liners that they have uh, on their website. They Hopefully they won't be out of stock because I think last time I looked there was out of stock. But do, if you if you fancy them, do just double check. Um, so this one, I'm doing some wiggly lines. I'm just trying to sort of show you what you can do with them, like really briefly. <laughs> I mean, this isn't difficult and this kind of, these kind of swirls are sort of, I don't know if they're still in, but they were in over the summer. Like there was like swirl nails everywhere, weren't they? I don't, I don't really, I wouldn't call these swirls. I'd call these wavy lines. That to me, the swirls are those like really intricate, detailed do you, do you know what do you know what i mean i think i'd call them swirls these i'd call these waves but each to their own because i'm looking up swirl nails and all i'm seeing is wavy line nails i'm like no i don't want those <laughs> right so i'm gonna leave it like that and pop these in the lamp i don't know how long they cure for actually i think i just put them in for 60 seconds to be on the safe side so this is the green one the green one i sort of i thought i'd do just like some thick thick lines going across the nail and this one is going to be uh, Frankenstein inspired. <laughs> We're going to do like stitches and stuff on this one. I'm going to do three lines all the way across. So there'll be another one just at the bottom as well. I'm trying to make them all the same length. So obviously if you want the lines finer, you just need to put a bit less product on your brush to get your yeah because these are quite thick so i i put i had quite a lot of product on the brush and then once i'm happy i do yeah i do add a little bit more on this one but once i'm happy i will stick these in the lamp for a 60 second cure okay and then this last one this is the purple i really like the purple it's like um it's got a bit of a pinky hint to it, hasn't it, this colour? Has it or not? Is it just me? Are my eyes fooling me? I don't know. But I thought I'd do some, like, steps. I don't really know. I just wanted to do something different than lines and swirls. So I thought, right, we'll do, like, a step design. Because why not? So I'm going to yeah try and make it as neat as i can where the lines meet and i want them all the same thickness if i can do it <laughs> i don't want like thick ones and thin ones so i'm going to try and keep them all the same thickness and then i'm going to do another line at the bottom Yeah, across here. Um, is anyone watching on Netflix at the minute? Is anyone watching The Chestnut Man? If you've seen it, what do you think of it? 
I've literally just started it, but I, I thought there's no point watching anymore because I've got to get this video done. Um, but yeah, it's I've heard some good things about it. So if you've seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments below because I'm really interested to know what people think. <laughs> it looks really good. I've had it on my list to watch, but I hadn't watched it yet. I've been watching Another Life, but I'm halfway through season two and I'm a bit bored of that one now. So I thought, right, we'll just we'll skip to Chestnut Man and then perhaps go back to Another Life. <laughs> Right, this is going to go in the lamp now. I'm going to leave it like that. And then what I thought was, I would just... Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to matte top coat them. But I don't have a matte top coat from a cart. So I'm just going to use one that I've already got in my drawer. So they're now matte finished. But we're going to work on top of that. So I'm just using... Uh, what is this stuff I'm using? It's a gel paint. I'm using gel paint. And for this one, I thought I would outline the green lines and add some stitches and stuff on. Okay, so while I'm doing this, uh, you can get 15% off um, any McCart items on their website, McCart.com. If you go to McCart.com, wherever you are in the world, it will take you to, like, if you're in the UK, it'll ask you if you want to go to the UK one. Just click yes, and the discount code should work on... Um, like Macart Australia, Macart Europe, Macart UK. So yeah, it does work for. It should work for all the websites basically. And um, so I'm doing the stitches now. So some stitches I've put like little crosses on. Some I've just put like wonky lines. I'm going to do that all the way down until we get to like this. So this is my Frankenstein inspired nail. This one I decided I was just going to do a like a Halloween face. Not Halloween face, what am I about? Like a pumpkin face. So I'm going to fast forward this bit. Because you can do whatever kind of Halloween face you want. And it took me a little while to get the eyes the same. <laughs> they, were, they were a little bit wonky when I first started. So yeah, so anyway, I will do the face. And then once I'm happy with the face, then I will pop that into the lamp for a 60 second cure. And then we can move on to the next nail. Okay, so that's him done. A little bit of a vampire kind of look. He's going to go in the lamp. Then on this one, I decided to do some bats. So for the bat body, it's just sort of like a little, a slightly ovaled circle. I suppose it's an oval if it's not a circle, isn't it? <laughs> and then two little kind of like ears. And then you do the you do the wings. But I did. I think I lost. I think I stopped recording for some reason or something happened. I'm not sure. But the wings I just do a a swoosh going over the top and then I do like about three arches or two arches underneath so like one whoops one two and then the third one will connect to the end of the wing and then I'll do that the same on this side one two and then the third would meet up at the end of the wing but it's obviously coming off the nail. And then I will fill those in. So these are basically just like bat silhouettes, I suppose. They're nothing too difficult, but I didn't know what else to put on this nail. <laughs> so there we go. So once I'm happy with that, that will go in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then this is them all with their design on i'm going to go over again with uh, a matte top coat i'm sure my cart must do a matte top coat i just don't have one so yeah <laughs> pretend it's a cart top coat okay and then they're going to go in the lamp for a cure and then um just to finish them off i'm going to add some crystals because i just felt like they needed something else so they're going to go in the lamp so I've got these, these are Swarovski Electric Delight Mix. These were from, these are from Crystal Parade. I don't know that they've got these anymore because they're Swarovski, obviously, and Swarovski aren't doing, they're stopping selling crystals to the likes of us. So 
yeah you might not be able to get hold of these but i like the i like the look of these for this set so i'm just literally giving the pumpkin a little bit of a crown i, I only put three on i didn't want to go mad and then i'm just putting a few random purple crystals on this nail so they're gonna wherever the purple liner was then i'll put a bit of a i'll put a crystal on just randomly And then on the last one, I'm going to put a crystal in the middle of each line. It almost looks like buttons, but then they're not, I don't know, they could be buttons, I suppose. Crystal buttons. And then I will pop these all in the lamp for a 60 second cure. I quite like this one, actually. I quite like this one. I think I like that one the best. And then that is them finished. So that is the nail liners from a cart. Um, don't forget 15% off using code NMNAILARTIST, 5% off at Crystal Parade using code NAT5. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free. Have an amazing weekend. I will announce the winner of the press on giveaway on Monday, so be, be looking out for that. <laughs> Otherwise, have an amazing weekend. Love you all. Bye.